Oh dear God. So my first tattoo, 16 or 17 when I first got it, which was completely against my mother's rules. And she didn't find out about it until I was 25. Your girl is good. <laughs> it was something I said I would never do. Like I'm never gonna have a tattoo. There's nothing I like enough to want to put it on my body forever. I actually found this image on gift wrapping. I felt like really naive and I didn't want to just walk into some place like, do you guys do tattoos? The first night, like after I got it, I was like, what have I done? I told my mom after and she didn't talk to me for a week. Apparently she's always had this fantasy that we were going to get tattoos together. Never verbalized. They were just like, well, it's not like an ex's name on my back or something. It's, it's uh, my ex-girlfriend's uh, handwriting. I was thinking about getting a line through it, maybe. I was like, man, it'd be so awesome if I had a tattoo. So I literally went to the tattoo shop, looked on the wall, and I was like, that one. And that was my, literally that was my first tattoo. I, I was going through some turmoil, and I felt like everything was very out of my control and I wanted a pain that I could control. Something that hurt, but I did it, you know, not the world. So I was like, you know what, I need a day off. Like, I need to just reset and be able to remember, like, I'm more than the shitty job I'm working. I'm a human being. And I was at a cafe with one of my best friends, and we were just trying to think about how we can enjoy my day off. And the idea came up to, like, what if I got a tattoo? We eventually just like settled on something within an hour and then we were at the closest tattoo place and it was happening. It was on a uh, Friday the 13th uh, where basically for 13 bucks they'll tattoo like a small tattoo under your body. I had a group of friends and we all basically got the same tattoo. I did get one tattoo before the queen chest piece and that was of my first lover boyfriend's initials. And the only reason why I wanted to modify, it didn't make any more sense to me. I was in college still, and my younger brother had run away at, uh, when, I was, when I was young, and um, then when I finally found him, he had a whole bunch of tattoos all over his arms, and to kind of connect with him, I said I would get one. It happened in two stages. I got a tattoo when I was uh, 17. And I added on to it uh, about 10, 11 years later. So um, I wasn't old enough yet, and uh, I borrowed a friend's ID. And we looked pretty, pretty much alike, so it worked. And I told her I wanted to get a baseball uh, with my initials underneath. And she goes, why do you want EJP tattooed on your arm if your name is Andy Sager? And I was meeting my sister-in-law for dinner, but she shot me a text saying that she was running late, so I took a walk around the neighborhood, and there was a tattoo parlor, so I stopped by and said that I had like 20 minutes, I love cats, what can you do? And he was like, how about this silhouette of a cat? I was like, that'll do. And he was like doing the tattoo, and he was like falling asleep, and you know, and my and my brother was like, he was like, no, no, don't worry, don't worry, he does his best work when he's, when he's high. I was like, okay, it's not the coolest tattoo. <laughs> but it, it was something to kind of connect with him. Uh, I looked at the woman and I said, well, uh, EJP are the initials of a friend of mine uh, who I grew up with playing baseball and he passed away recently. <laughs> I felt bad the moment the, the words left, left, left my mouth, uh, but it worked like a charm. And afterwards it was like, oh, there it is. Like there it's been forever. It's not so much putting something on myself, it's like I'm exposing it. Like it's always been there, it's just now I can see it and everyone else can. But she did it in a way uh, that she put it, the, the initials in a little scroll uh, and it was very kind of morbid, uh, which totally makes sense considering what she thought to be the truth. At first I was like, you know, the line's a little bit wonky, like maybe it's imperfect, but it was my first tattoo, it was impulsive. I'm okay with her being imperfect. You don't even know they're there. And then when you remember them, you just, it brings back a memory or whatever, and you're like, that was funny, or that was really dumb. I think of them, and I think of our, like, what it was like to be that age and have those friends and sort of the life that we had. We spend so much time, I spent so much time saying the things I would never do. Like, I'm never, I'm never gonna move away from Seattle. Like, I'm never gonna get a tattoo. And then I did them, and I'm, like, I'm still here. I'm still me. I'm just, open to the world more. I'm open to allowing myself to change more, which fucking is rad as hell. <laughs> like, yeah.
Cake. Hey guys, thanks for watching. My name is Oscar, creator of Under the Skin. If you like this video and you want to see more, please subscribe and hit the notification bell to know when uh, there's new episodes coming. We got some really fun ones coming out I'm working on right now that I think you guys are going to enjoy. There's some really cool tattoos, uh, all new people, really cool stories, and um, yeah, so stay tuned. This week's question is, what's the story behind your first tattoo? And if you don't have one, what would you get if you had to get one? Let us know in the comments below.